Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I am going to get into a Q&A video, and in this video, I, um, I've been getting a lot of questions on digital forensics, two, two questions in particular. One is, what is digital forensics? And the second is, if I had opportunity to work in digital forensics, would I? See, what's been going on lately is I've been putting out a few, I think I only got two videos right now out on digital forensics, I might have got more. But um, I'm doing classes in digital forensics, and whenever I come across something interesting, I'm like, hell, hey, everybody, this is how this works. Um, but but it's a required class for my networking degree. So go figure, you have to take classes like that. Well, here's the thing. Uh, my answer would simply be, I would not want to work in digital forensics. Um, now, as far as that goes, if a company said, hey, we want you to work for us, how much would it cost? I'll say $500,000. You never say no. You always say, you always give a price so high that you don't think that they will give. Um, I, I learned that when someone tries to uh, keep an orchid and they have an orchid shop and they, they their favorite orchid, they, they don't want to get rid of it, they, they say, put the price so high and they said fifty thousand dollars when it normally would go for two thousand and the people bought it. So you never say no. You you always just put price so high. So as far as that goes, um what is digital forensics? The digital forensics in a nutshell is when cops sees electronic equipment, thumb drives, laptops, desktops, whatever it may be, they will end up needing the information off it for evidence that's where a person that, that that's in digital forensics comes in play they'll come in and they'll get information off of there and they will either themselves most likely or someone else will come in and, and see what type of evidence is needed more than not it's them that they'll go down it and they'll say here's what's relevant to your case and whatever most of the time, because the many police stations and so on don't have the budget, the same people who's doing the forensics on ground, uh, looking for blood splatter and all this other stuff, they are also doing that. Because, because, again, most of the time they don't have the budget. But when you get into some federal level like FBI and whatever it may be, they technically, uh, I mean, they, they tend to have... Um, individual digital forensics people to look into stuff notes that um, digital forensics it requires certifications and all this other stuff so it's not a joking around type of, um, of career field you actually need to know what you're doing especially since the fact that um, just filling out forms wrong or something like that some murderer could walk and that can be someone else's life so as far as that goes why would I not be okay with working in digital forensics? Well, here's the thing. Even though you might see it that you are putting someone behind bars that should go behind bars, murderers, rapists, whatever it may be, the fact of the matter is, is you're interjecting yourself into that. You are interjecting yourself into the murders. And what I mean by this is... Let's say, for example, that some person, um, that maybe some kid comes up and, and to the police and say that they were raped. And um, during the rape, the person was recording with their phone. Well, and I'm pretty sure that actually probably happens more than you might want to think. Well, when it's happening is... The uh, they'll end up seizing the phone, and you would be tasked with getting that video or seeing if that video even exists on the phone. So that means that you got to actually go through it and see, okay, does this video even exist? So that means that out of all the videos on there, you're going to have to watch a little bit and figure out, okay, is this one, this one, this one, this one. So once you get to the one, you have to watch it and hear it. Even if it's for a few moments, you still have to be able to recognize what you are watching in order to say, yes, this is the actual video 
that will put the person behind bars or see, oh crap, this person has a whole, that, that was one person that came in, but it turned out that there's a thousand other videos of a thousand other cases that this person, you know, did all this nasty stuff with. Well, the fact of the matter is, is you're going to impact that if you go through that and, um, and, and confirm that each one of those are, are you know, relevant to the case or not. So with that in mind, you now have to mentally process all those rapes happening or murders or uh, whatever it may be, whether it be in text, audio, or visual, or, or a mixture. The fact of the matter is, is you're going to end up having to interject yourself and probably, uh, unlike the cop who comes up on a murder after it happens, um, Sometimes they happen uh, to come up on it while it's happening, which is unfortunate, no matter which way you want to look at it. The, uh, you have to actually see the murder taking place from someone recording it. You have to see the uh, rape taking place from someone recorded. You have to, take, you have to see someone um, abusing their child you have to see all this stuff or you have to read the correspondence or you have to do uh, uh, like you have to basically um, hear it, read it, see it or something around that point. In that way, you actually uh, will be able to get the all the information that's required to convict them for however long. Because the fact of the matter is, is um, all bits adds up and can help the overall case and while you might be happy and excited that you locked up or or maybe the person got the chair for whatever they did you still have to deal with what just happened you watched what happened you heard what happened that's with you for the rest of your life and can you live with, I mean, we're not even talking about one case like that, but we're talking about dozens of cases like that out through your, your career. Can you deal with that day in and day out? I don't think I can. I don't think most people can. I, I highly advise people against going into career fields like cops, against going into career fields like soldiers, mercenaries, um, against career fields like this, like the um, digital forensics and, and stuff like that. We're not talking about white-collar crimes. We're talking about stuff that people are killing each other, and you have to see it. Because if it's uh, on video, you have to see it. Or if it's audio, you have to hear it. Or whatever it may be. Maybe it's text or whatever it may be. But you have to mentally be able to process that. And once it's in your brain, you're, you're just going to remember it out through your life. And it's and even if it's just text, all you're dealing with is text and not audio and visual. It's still going to add up over time. I, I don't see how that doesn't warp someone to some degree. Most cops that I know... They either get through it through their spouse, like the uh, their spouse helps them talk it out, whatever it may be, other cops or whatever it may be. But nine times out of ten, they're still heavy drinkers. Soldiers, I see the same thing where they're heavy drinkers, especially if they're in combat lines. Sometimes that doesn't happen, but holy crap, it does happen a lot. And put two to two together. It doesn't take a genius to figure out why that's happening as far as them drinking a lot or going into drugs or what it may be. It's because of that. No one is built to deal with all that carnage. No matter how, how you think about it today, if you face the actual facts, no one is built for that. So that, that's that's why I wouldn't want to do it. Now, do I think the skills are necessary to, as far as digital forensics? Yeah, uh, and, and 
many computer fields? Yes, very much so. Because the fact of the matter is, it's useful to know that you can actually recover deleted data. It's useful that you're able to make copies of entire groups of data. It's useful to do all these things. Even though I will never have to fill out a legal form, um, or at least I hope I don't, even though I, I would never have to deal with all this stuff and make sure the cops have to have the proper form so and when it comes to court um you know it doesn't get thrown out because of oh my screw up on just simple paperwork even though i don't have to ever really deal with that knowing some of these things helps now do i think it's necessary for a degree not so much but you know um you know it's it is so i'm just going to go through it and you know it's interesting facts that, that's uh, out through the degree itself now with that being said um if, if you're interested into it uh, what i'll advise you to do is go ahead and contact uh you know cops or people who's in the digital forensics field and and see if they can allow you to tag with them and that way you can actually see firsthand what some of this is like I'm pretty sure when it comes to stuff like murders and stuff like that, they won't let you get near to that. But stuff like uh, drug trafficking and stuff like that, that's, I don't, visually, I don't think that that's uh, too bad. Um, seeing what happens to the victims who take the drugs and how their lives turn out, that, that's something that you probably won't be able to see because of, um, they'll probably try to keep it away from you. Or, or maybe they'll let you see it and you can see, oh, that's why I don't want to do drugs. That's why I don't want to be around people who do drugs. Um, they may let you do that so as far as uh, get a glance so you see if you can stand it in the first place or even want to be around that. Because keep in mind, that is your career for whatever amount of time because this is not an easy thing to get into. So you, you really need to know if this is something that you want to do. But... Um, that's that's my best advice is ask someone who's actually working into it and see if you can tag along with them. Um, most cops and stuff, they'll let you tag along with them. I'm pretty sure digital forensics people, they'll let you tag along with them. Obviously not to the crime scenes, but to some other things, maybe. So as far as that goes, or at least interview them. Um, so as far as that goes, um, if you've got any questions, anything else, then let me know and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.